here. Finally, the end here. Finally, Kaldheim is officially released. <coughs> Sorry about that, I just got carried on. But now we have more information to talk and discuss about this cold Viking plane. Kaldheim is a plane with 10 realms. In the center, you'll find the cosmic well tree, so that the 10 realms are like hair fruits. Each realm is the home of a particular creature type, dwarves, elves, humans, Valkyries, etc, etc. For example, Skemfer, one of the 10 realms in Kaldheim, is the home of elves. So we have to prepare ourselves to see more cards related to these creature types spoiled for this particular set. Apart from all this information regarding the plane of Kaldheim, some cards have been spoiled. So let's not waste time and start analyzing and discussing these cards. First cards are the five basic snow lands. You have one for each color, a plane, an island, a swamp, a mountain, a forest. They will come in this particular frost showcase. Apart from these five snow basic lands, you will have also 10 dual snow lands. Each of them will come in play, tapped, and each of them will be dual, so that, for example, Highland Forest will produce one red and one green. Frostbite, for one red, it's a snow instant, which is the first time that we'll have these type of spells as snow. It deals two damage to target creature or planeswalker. If you control three or more snow permanents, it deals three damage instead. Max Vandal, one and one green, it's a one three, it's a shapeshifter, it has changing, that is, this card is every creature type. When it enters the battlefield, you may exile a creature card from your graveyard if you do exile target artifact or enchantment an opponent controls. Saruf's packmate, three and one green, it's a three three, it's a wolf. Enters the battlefield, you draw a card, it has foretell one and one green. Foretell, you play this particular spell for two generic mana, then you can cast it at a later turn for the foretell cost. We have also the foretell check card, so you can put these spells face down on this particular foretell check card so that your opponent knows that card is foretold. Inga Rune Eyes, 3 and 1 blue, it's a 3-3, three, three. legendary creature, human wizard, an oncoming card, enters the battlefield, scry 3, when it dies, draw 3 cards if 3 or more creatures died this turn. Call the Forge Master, 1 red and 1 white, it's a 2-2, two, two. legendary creature, dwarf warrior, it's also an oncoming card. Whenever another non-token creature you control dies, if it was enchanted or equipped, return it to its owner's hand. Creature tokens you control that are enchanted or equipped gets plus one, plus one. Binding the old gods to one black and one green, this is one of those enchantment saga. Chapter one, destroy target non-land permanent and opponent controls. Chapter two, search your library for a forest, put it on the battlefield tap, then shuffle your library. Chapter three, creatures you control gain that touch until end of turn. One of the lead cards, Sigarda God Favored, one and two white, it's a 2-2, two -two. legendary creature, human warrior, it's a rare card, flash, first type, protection from God creatures, enters the battlefield, exile up to one target attacking or blocking creature until it leaves the battlefield. Old Grow Troll, for three green, it's a 4-4, four -four. it's a troll warrior, it has trample. When it dies, if it was a creature, return it to the battlefield. It's an hour enchantment with enchant forest you control, and enchanted forest has tap at two green, and for one generic mana, tap, sacrifice this land, create a tapped 4-4 four, four green troll warrior creature token with trample. So, you can play this particular old growth troll. If it dies, it will return to the battlefield as an enchantment. You enchant a forest and that forest will add 2 green or you can sacrifice it and that forest will become a 4-4 four, four green troll warrior creature token with trample. Elvish Warmaster, 1 and 1 green, it's a 2-2 two -two Elvish Warrior. Whenever one or more other elves enters the battlefield under your control, create a 1-1 one -one green Elf Warrior creature token. This ability triggers only once each turn. 5 and 2 green, elves to control get plus 2 plus 2 and gain that touch until end of turn. Vargat Bloody Strike, 2 and 1 black, it's a 2-3 Demon Rogue, it's a legendary creature, it has that touch and has also boast. For 1 and 1 black, Target player searches their library for a card, then shuffles their library and put that card on top it. If you don't know how to play this particular mechanic boss, I have a tutorial explaining how this particular mechanic works. I will leave it a link at the end of this video. The first mythic card, one of the Kaldheim gods, which are model double face cards. All gods in Kaldheim will be model double face cards. So on one side you have a god and on the other side you have a different spell. Arrod God of the Cosmos, 3 and 2 blue, it's a 1-1, it gets plus 1 plus 1 for each card into your hand and each foretold card you own in exile. At the beginning of your end step, choose a card type, 
Then reveal the top two cards of your library, put all cards of the chosen type into your hand and the rest in the bottom of your library in any order. You can choose to play Arrod or you can choose to play Haka. For one and one blue, it's a 2-3, it's a bird, it has flying. When it does combat damage to a player, return it to the owner's hands and then scry two. So for one and one blue, you can play this bird. When it does damage, you can return it and then at a later stage, you can play it as Arrod, God of the Cosmos. Unroot Affinity. 5 and 2 blue, it's a sorcery, it's a mythic card, create 2 one, 1 blue bird creature token with flying. Take an extra turn after this one, exile the card, foretell 4 and 2 blue. Yes, it gives you 2 birds, it gives you an extra turn, it's a 7 cost, but for 2 generic mana you can foretell this card, therefore on turn 2 you can foretell this card, and then later on when you have enough mana for 4 and 2 blue you will play this card and you will create those 2 one one blue bear creature tokens and take the extra turn. Nico Aris X one white and two blue. It comes in play with three loyalty counters. When it enters the battlefield, you create X shard tokens. They are enchantment with two generic mana. Sacrifice this enchantment. Sky one, then draw a card. Plus one up to one target creature you control can be blocked this turn. Whenever that creature does combat damage this turn, return it to its owner hand. Minus one, it deals two damage to target tapped creature. For each card you draw this turn, and minus one, create a shard token. I believe this is a very interesting card because you can put this particular planeswalker in play for just three mana. Because if X is zero, and for one white and two blue, the planeswalker will hit the battlefield with three loyalty counters, it didn't create any shards token, okay, no problem, but for three mana, it will hit the battlefield. And we know that each ever we have a planeswalker that comes in play with 3 mana, they are quite powerful. Last card, Valky God of Lies, 1 and 1 leg, it's a legendary creature, it's a god, it's a 2-1. Enters the battlefield, each opponent reveals their hand, for each opponent exile a creature card, they reveal this way until it leaves the battlefield. X, choose a creature card exiled with Valky, with converted mana cost X, it becomes a copy of that card. I told you that all gods in Kaldheim, are double faced model cards and let's see in what Valky God of Lies transforms. Yes, it transforms into a planeswalker, Tibolt Cosmic Imposter, finally a return of Tibolt. For five, one black and one red, it's a five loyalty planeswalker. As it enters the battlefield, you get an emblem with you may play cards exiled with Tibolt Cosmic Imposter and you may spend mana as though it weren't mana of any color to cast those spells. Plus two, exile the top card of your of each player's library. Minus three, exile target artifact or creature. Minus eight, exile all cards from all graveyards at three red mana. This is a very interesting card. First of all, because it's a double face card, so you can play for two mana the god Valky, or later on you can play Tibalt Cosmic Imposter for five, one black and one red. Tune in to my channel for more spoilers of Kaldheim and anything related to Magic the Gathering and the collectible world.